Let's hack my already hacked PSP Go. So in order to hack this thing, I have to undo the hack that was already on here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So essentially you go to settings here, system settings, and then you restart everything. So format memory stick, yes. There's no memory stick, okay. Format system storage, yes. Format complete. Restore default settings. Let's see if that's even necessary. So no games, no nothing. Let's let's restore it, why not? Restore default settings. All of that. Yes. Awesome. And that's it. This is a clean wipe. So now we can go ahead and hack the system, which is fairly easy. It'll take no time at all. Hey guys, Harto from the future here. Even though I went ahead and factory restored everything, this system is still hacked, but I'm going to replicate all the steps acting like it's not. Therefore, if you have a PSP Go that is not hacked, you can follow those steps and get the same result that I'm at right now. Okay, so once that's done, you're gonna have to find a way to plug the PSP Go charger into your computer. I have a MacBook USB-C, so I have a little converter right here. Plug this in and then plug this into your PSP Go. And you'll see right here, it's in USB mode. And then on the computer, there is a untitled that popped up. Okay, so the next step is gonna to be to go to psppunk.com. From here, you can get the custom firmware going and you can choose the model of PSP you have right here. I have the PSP Go. And this essentially runs everything down for what you'll need. We're gonna need Infinity. So click on that, it'll go ahead and download. And then for the custom firmware, you have the option between Pro and Lite. And you'll see over here, Pro and Lime or LME are very similar. So just choose one of them to put on there. So I think I already have Pro C2 on the PSP Go, but I'll go ahead and download it anyway. And those two are downloaded right there. Okay, so we have both folders right here. We have the Pro firmware and as well as Infinity. What we're gonna do is in the PSP, we're going to go to PSP, game, and then we're going to make a folder called all capital update. We'll go into infinity, and then for the PSP Go, you're gonna click on this one. If you have a 3000, 1000, whatever, you're gonna use the standard, but we have PSP Go, so we'll click here, and we're gonna drag this into the update folder. Uh, let's confirm it's there. Good to go. And then from here on out, we're done using the desktop. We can go ahead and disconnect the PSP. So let's go ahead and drag it and inject it safely. And we'll go ahead into that now. So we have the PSP now. It's gonna turn on. And if we look inside system storage, we'll see both Infinity as well as the Pro Update. So from this point, all we have to do is go to Infinity. let it load. So like I mentioned before, this console was already previously hacked. There will be an install button here. All you do is press X to install that and then it'll reboot you and restart you. And then you will be able to go back to the home setting and run the pro update. So from here, we can go to pro update. Okay, so press X to launch, triangle to uninstall, L to reinstall. So let's launch it. So now that the PSP is hacked, you wanna probably put some games on it and I'll show you how to do that as safely as I can. So once you have your PSP plugged in, you're gonna go ahead and open your PSP. And if you don't already have a folder, you're gonna create one and name it ISO. Inside here is where you're gonna drop your ISO files. So I have some ISO files here, NFL Street 2 Unleashed. We're just gonna go ahead and drop it in. I don't know why there is a folder for video. It's empty. We're gonna go ahead and delete that. And then we're just gonna wait for this ISO file to download in. Okay, so the file is fully downloaded into our PSP Go. We can go ahead and eject it safely. Unplug it. 
And when we go to the system storage, we should see here, NFL Street 2. Now, I don't know what this corrupted data is, so let's just delete it. Cool. And we're in the game, everything works fine. I just muted it because I've gotten copyright stricken from this game before, so I'm not gonna risk that. But if you want, you can pause the game, quit the game, whatever you want. It is a normal game just to get it downloaded. And that's essentially it, guys. That's how you mod your PSP Go and how you add PSP games to it as well. Now, if you do want to add PS1 games, there are extra steps attached, but that's not too difficult. You just have to download a converter and then run your PS1 files through there and then put it on here. So just a few more steps, but not too difficult if you really want it. There are so many things you can do additionally with a hacked PSP, but this is just a quick and dirty. Thanks guys for watching the video. If you have any questions, drop it down in the comments below. If you liked the video, drop a like. If you want to see more videos in the future, consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.